Hi, I'm Shant. And I'm Jen. Welcome back. It's another new month, and that means another new extension presents. Last month, we featured five crazy U.S. laws. This month, we're going to discuss five secret... Shh, Jen! Five secret marketing factoids. Okay, Jen, are we going to learn why they keep the milk in the back of a grocery store? I mean, where they keep it is just idiotic. I have to walk all the way to the back of the store, grab the milk, and then trundle back to the registers in front to buy it. And sometimes, it's the only reason I came to the grocery store in the first place. Why do they put a food staple in the back of the store? It's a lot of walking and that milk isn't exactly light. No, we're going to talk about five marketing factoids, like in advertising, not grocery stores. Darn, I really wanted to know why they put the milk there. <laughs> Here's a factoid for you movie buffs. Did you know that Apple's first Macintosh commercial, 1984, was directed by Sir Ridley Scott? Ridley Scott? The guy who spawned Alien, Black Hawk Down, and Prometheus? That's the guy. You know, I always did like the dark and gritty feel of his movies. Yeah. Well, if he's for hire, do you think we can get him to direct our commercials at Extension? In a world where education is accessible only to the few. Nah. Our next marketing factoid continues on our cinema theme. Did you know that Coco Chanel's three-minute commercial, number five, the film, featuring Nicole Kidman, is the most expensive ever made? It reportedly cost over $40 million to produce. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That's almost $14 million a minute. And with Chanel being $4,200 an ounce, you would need to sell 9,523 ounces, or 38 gallons to recoup your cost. That's amazing. What, that a commercial costs $40 million to make? Or that 38 gallons of perfume costs the same? Neither. What's amazing is that you knew off the top of your head that Chanel cost $4,200 an ounce. I did work retail, you know. Now we move from lavish spending to an example of ultimate marketing frugality. Did you know that Twitter's original logo was purchased for about $15 from a stock photo bank? You've got to be kidding me. It's reported that the designer, Simon Oxley, made a grand total of $6. Well, don't feel too bad for Oxley. Once people found out that he designed Twitter's logo, his services became in demand, landing him gigs with GitHub and iStock Photo. In fact, his designs are so in demand in Japan that he's represented by Sony. Now that's something to tweet about. In the 1980s, this is what you wore to work, Monday through Thursday. And this was Casual Fridays. I'm glad I wasn't a working adult in the 80s. Yeah, agreed. Well, okay, this is what Casual Fridays look like today. Better? Uh, what happened? In the 1960s, the Hawaiian Fashion Guild created Aloha Fridays to help sell Hawaiian shirts and dresses, and it was quite a success in Hawaii for decades before they were adopted by the mainlanders in the early 90s by Doc Commerce. So, how does marketing fit in? In 1992, Dockers found themselves in the enviable position of selling more khakis and released a guide to casual business wear and mailed them to 25,000 HR managers around the country. The rest is history. Safe to say, when in doubt, khakis out. Did you know that wristwatches smile in ads? Most watches displayed in advertisements are set to 1010. Why? Because the hands of the watch frame the brand name and they make a smiley face. If you search Google Images for watches, you'll see that most of the watch images truly are set to this time. 820. What? 820. My watch is frowning at you for knowing such useless trivia. Did you know that there's a prominent arrow in FedEx's logo? Look very carefully at the white space between the E and X. The arrow was not by lucky happenstance. In 1994, Linden Leader, say that five times fast, designed the logo with a subliminal arrow as a symbol of speed and precision, both FedEx's communicative attributes. It is one of over 200 logos submitted to Federal Express for consideration. Okay, Jen, I have a FedEx joke. What do you get if you cross a dog and a lion? Mm, I don't know. What? <laughs> a scared out of his wits FedEx guy? Make the bad man stop, mommy. What? 
Well, that's it for this month's Extension Presents. Want to learn more? See our library on Facebook or YouTube. Also, if there's a subject that you would like us to tackle on UCI Extension Presents, drop us an email at unex at uci.edu. Subject line, viral video. See you next month.